Hey everyone, welcome back to another video here on my channel. This is another episode of my 50 States Treasure Hunting Series. And today, I woke up at about three o'clock in the morning, headed up to the computer, did some research, uh, looking at gold prospecting areas in the state of Wyoming. So after about four or five hours of researching on the computer, looking at My Land Matters, Assessor's Maps, Google Earth, Access Road Maps and everything, I finally came to this location here. Um, it is public access. The only problem is I'm parked right here and I got about a two mile hike in to get to the gold. So I have two buckets with me, a classifier and a shovel and a pickaxe. Carry it in there. I'm gonna have to carry dirt back out because there's no water here. And then we're gonna take that material, bring it back to Colorado. We'll pan through it, we'll process it back at home. But anyway, yeah, it's really nice out, a little bit windy. I'm not gonna carry this camera down in the mining area. I'm just gonna bring my GoPro in my pocket um, for obvious reasons. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the video. So, I apologize for the wind. I'm up here in Wyoming and it's pretty much the windiest state in existence. So, I'll just keep my mouth real close to the GoPro so you can hear what I'm saying. So, I'm headed out to the prospecting area and there's this big hill on the side. Now, I still have a good mile and a quarter to go. Or, I could just check this area, look for some round river rocks. Maybe I'll get lucky on this, on uh, you know, looking at the, at the side, I could find an ancient riverbed. Here's some old, what is this? There's some interesting looking rocks out here. Now I gotta find the ancient riverbed here in the side of the mountain. If I could find solidly compacted river gravels in the side of this cliff, I'll just take some of that. This is all unclaimed land on National Forest. I'm not sure what kind of rock this is. It looks kind of like petrified wood or bark or something. That's pretty cool. It's everywhere too. A lot of these rocks have a lot of holes in it. Like, it seems like it's limestone, I think. Not 100% on that. It's real windy though. I'm gonna do my best here. Okay. All right, so I finally got to a stopping point. As you can see here, we got barbed wire fence. And then over to the left, I mean, it's like a thousand foot drop down there. So my only option is to go down there. This is still National Forest. I'm gonna go down and I'm just gonna look at the side of the cliff. Hope I get lucky and find some ancient river beds because that, uh, that barbed wire fence actually goes along right here. So I can't actually go any further that way. Which is strange because that's also National Forest. I did check uh, the assessor's maps. It's not private property. But let's go down that way. All right, so I'm following this barbed wire fence down and um, I'm, I don't know, maybe a hundred, maybe a hundred feet down from the top. And I noticed that the ground is starting to turn more red. Um, I don't see any quartz yet. I'm looking for some quartz, like indicator rocks, indicator minerals for gold ore. I don't see anything like that yet. No round river rocks yet. Uh, but we still have quite a while to go down to the bottom. So I'll keep my eyes open. All right, probably another 100 feet down the side of the mountain. I can actually see the bottom now. It looks like there might be water down there, which is a really good sign. Uh, that's promising for gold. I do have a gold pan and stuff with me. But I did find a beer bottle here. It's not that old. I'll, I'll pick it up and carry it out of here to some more trash. But I mean, I'm in the middle of nowhere and still finding trash. 
I'm surprised it doesn't say cores on the side of it. All right. It looks like a gold pan sitting here. What is this, a flower pot? What is that? I guess I'll have to carry this out of here. I thought it was a gold pan, but it's just trash. Yeah, I'm almost at the bottom here, bottom of the hill. I didn't see any evidence of ancient riverbeds. I was looking at the ground the entire way down, hoping for a band of ancient river, but I didn't see anything. But now we're towards the bottom here, and it looks like there's a road right here, which would be great, because that means I could drive down here if I do strike some gold. There's a campsite right there. All right. Yeah, check it out. Private property, no trespassing, which is really strange because the assessor map says it's all national forest out here, which is, that's, that must be new or the map is not updated. It's, that's weird. Anyway, there's a lot of trash out here. Here we go again, janitor of the forest. Just like every, every single, every time, I encourage you guys that are watching this video to also do the same thing. Yeah, here's like a, maybe an old road, right down to a campsite, man, there's all trash. I'm not gonna clean all this trash up. This is ridiculous. So we got Vizzy hard seltzer here, all other kind of trash. Man, my truck is way up that way. Um, I'm gonna follow this road up and out. This, there's no more access where I want it to go. I gotta double check those maps, but it looks like somebody didn't really care if it was private property or not. They shot the sign, and uh, man, I should flip some boards. Maybe I can find some snakes in here. That's another thing I'm always looking for is rattlesnakes or whatever. But yeah, this is all private property, apparently. And yeah, the, the gold prospecting area that I wanted to visit is about another mile out that way, so I guess I guess that's a no-go. I'm gonna have, to, gonna have to find a new thing to do for Wyoming. Still a good hike. I tried. Grab some of this trash at least. All right, on my way up and out from the valley. I had a wind a little bit, but man, look at the size of this puffball. That's huge. That's a lot of puffball spores right there. Try not to breathe too many in. Hey, there's another one. Man, these are past their prime. They would have been delicious to eat. Look how big that thing is. Man, I know where to come next year. Wow. Cool. All right. All right, guys. Well, I feel kind of defeated back to the truck I mean the good news is I didn't have to carry two full buckets of rocks back with me and I didn't have to walk that extra mile and a quarter that I would have had to go in order to get those rocks and then back so sorry for the wind again I know it's windy this is Wyoming this is not the last video you'll see from here and I apologize for not finding nothing but that's kind of how it goes sometimes as you can see here it looks like they ripped up the, the ground so you can't drive back here and everything for whatever reason anyway hope you guys enjoyed it if you did thumbs up uh, if you like the wind thumbs up yeah all right guys well i apologize uh for the content and especially for the wind so i'm gonna keep this short because nobody wants to hear this but anyway at least i had a good hike um, I know not to come back to this area because there's no gold, at least um, there's no indications that there is gold, you know, the hard packed rocks, you know, the ancient riverbeds, there was no evidence of that, so that's fine, um, I'll just find another place in Wyoming to visit, and uh, yeah, I'll be back, anyway, thanks for watching, if you enjoyed it, thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to see the actual Wyoming video coming soon. If you're still here, you're one of the 42% that haven't left, so thanks so much. And also, big thanks to all my Major Credit Patreon supporters and channel members scrolling right there. 
And also, if you enjoyed this video, you're really going to like the other ones linked here. So definitely check those out, and I'll see you guys on the next video.